Okay, we'll go through the list of uh, six steps in order to graph f of x. Um, f of x equal to, uh, to x minus 1 times uh, divided by x squared minus 4. Uh, the domain of f is a uh, set of all x such that x is not equal to plus or minus 2. Uh, so because we're throwing away 2 and negative 2, we're going to have two vertical asymptotes at x equal 2 and x equal negative 2. Uh, because the degree of the top is less than the degree of the bottom, y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. There is no work to do. Uh, you just simply write y equals 0. And uh, so we're on to step 4. Um, step 4 is to determine the, if the asymptote crosses the, uh, the, the, uh, the graph at all. Uh, so you set the, gra the, uh, the function equal to the asymptote. Uh, x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 4 equals 0 means that x is equal to 1. Uh, so yeah, we will cross the asymptote one time. That will happen at the point 1, 0. Okay, uh, the intercepts are located at, uh, uh, let's say, they find the, y, the, the x intercepts, uh, x equals 1. Okay, you set the function equal to 0, x equals 1. So 1, 0. 1, 0 is actually a, a point where we uh, cross the, uh, the um, asymptote. Uh, that's also an intercept. And um, f of 0 is equal to 1 fourth. Okay, so 0, 1 fourth, that's right there. Okay, and that's the only two points that I know on this, on this uh, graph. Uh, to get the middle section set, um, I... I have an idea of what this graph looks like. Um, in, in a, to, to get that more, more clear, um, if I uh, let x be negative 1, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, divided by negative, uh, negative 3, so 2 thirds, um, negative 1 2 thirds is on the graph. Okay, and I've got these three points on the graph. The graph has to flow with the boundaries. Okay, so the graph has to uh, come down and uh, come down on the other side. Uh, in, in other words, the, the middle section is something that we, that we already know here. Um, in order to get the left section, I'll select one number, like x equals negative 3. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 3 squared minus 4 is 5. So negative 4 fifths. Now that single point down there, uh, located in quadrant 3, tells me that the rest of the graph is going to be located in quadrant 3. Okay, and it has to flow with these two uh, asymptotes that I've got there. That's why they're there, by the way. Um, if x is equal to 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 squared is 9, minus 4 is 5. Okay, so 2 fifths. In, in two, 2 fifths is, uh, is, a, is greater than 0. And so 3 2 fifths puts me uh, in, the, in the upper uh, right-hand region of the, uh, the graph. Um, and I've got these two asymptotes here, okay, and none of the graph is going to be below that or, or above that, otherwise it would not be a function, okay, otherwise it would not be a function of x. Um, consider that when you're graphing, okay, you should only need like one point, maybe maybe two points to, to, in, in a particular section just to, just to see where the, where the graph is, okay. Uh, so, problem five, f of x equals x squared minus one divided by x squared plus x minus six. Uh, the domain of f, when you set x equal to, uh, when, when you set the function equal to zero uh, in the denominator, um, x equals negative three and x equals two is what you'd get. And of course, we can't have those um, because, uh, because we know we can't divide by zero. Okay, so there's going to be two vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 3 and x equals 2. Uh, and so uh, problem 3, step 3, uh, when we divide y squared plus minus 1 over y squared plus x minus 6, um, y squared minus 1 is going to go inside the division bar, y squared plus x uh, x squared plus x minus 6 is going to go outside. A 1 in, would go in front and uh, up top. 1 times x squared plus x minus 6 gives us x squared plus x minus 6, which I'm, which I'm subtracting. 
x squared minus x squared is 0. 0 minus x is negative x. And negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Okay, so the remainder is negative x plus 5 divided by negative uh, by x squared plus x minus 6. And the remainder always gets added to our, to our answer. Um, now, we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Okay, so, uh, so I graph up my two asymptotes there, uh, my three asymptotes. And uh, one is that x equals 2, one is that x equals negative 3, another is that y equals 1. Now I want to know if I want to, if I cross the asymptote. Um, well, let's see here. So if I set the function equal to the asymptote, then solve, um, multiply both sides by x squared plus x minus, minus 6, and uh, subtract x squared from both sides. Add 6 to both sides. So this looks like x equals 5. 5, 1, right there, is where I cross the asymptote. So this will happen one time where I cross the asymptote. Okay? Um, and any other time, it, it, I, I won't cross the asymptote. Okay? So to find the x-intercepts, I let the function be 0, and I solve for x x squared equals 1, means that x is equal to plus or minus 1. And uh, f of 0 is equal to 1, 6, means that 0, 1, 6 is on the graph. Okay, so that gets me the middle section. Okay, the uh, middle section 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 0, 1, 6 uh, are, are all located in the, in the bottom region of that picture. Um, I know one point here that crosses the asymptote. Now, I, I don't know as far as uh, what the graph looks like quite yet, um, but uh, if, I, if I get the left side situated first, uh, let, let x be uh, negative 4. Uh, I need a number less than negative 3, so negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16, minus 1 is 15, divided by negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4 is 12, minus 6 is 6. So 15 over 6 reduces to 5 halves. Uh, negative 4, 5 halves is on the graph. Okay, and uh, that, uh, that puts me in the upper left-hand region of the, uh, of the graph. Uh, if I use positive 4, positive 4 squared minus 1 gives me 15. Positive 4 squared gives me 16. Plus 4 is 20, minus 4 is 14. So 15 over 14 should be answered. Uh, it should be a 14. Um, okay, so uh, positive 4, 14, uh, positive 4, 15 over 14 is uh, just barely above 1. Okay, now I don't know if the graph comes down and like touches the asymptote and pulls away type thing, or if it or if it actually crosses through the asymptote. So it is a good idea to plug in 6. Uh, 6 squared is 36, minus 1 is 35, divided by 36 plus 6 minus 6 is 36. So 35 over 36 is just barely below 1. Okay, so the, so the graph actually crosses through 1, and it doesn't, doesn't actually pass through the x-axis, because otherwise I'd have another x-intercept. Okay, um, but it, it gets closer and closer to the asymptote, uh, y equal 1. Okay, so this would be the graph of f of x. Problem 6, um, f of x equals x squared plus 2 divided by x minus 1. The domain of f is all real numbers except for one and negative uh, one except for one. Okay, and since I'm throwing away one, uh, I've got a, uh, a a vertical asymptote at x equals one. And um, okay, so now find the equation of the oblique asymptote. By the way, I know I'm going to have an oblique asymptote because the degree of the top is one more than the degree the degree of the bottom. That will happen. 
Okay, so I, I set the, uh, uh, I, I got the bottom outside, x minus 1, divided by x squared plus 2. Okay, and uh, I'll leave a gap there in case they get an x term. Uh, x minus 1 goes into x squared plus 2 x times. x times x minus 1 gives me x squared minus x. When I subtract these two expressions, x squared minus x squared, those are gone. Uh, 0 plus x gives me x. 2 plus, zero, plus minus 0 gives me 2. Um, and uh, 1 would be used next. Uh, if I take 1 times x minus 1, I get x minus 1. Okay, uh, x minus x is 0. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, and I've got a remainder, uh, which, I'm, which I'll add. And uh, the oblique asymptote uh, is the equation y equals x plus 1. X plus one. Um, in general, I ignore what's to the right of the of the what, what ends up being the vertical asymptote, the uh, um, the uh, horizontal or oblique asymptote, just like what I was doing up here. Okay, I ignore and to get y equal one, and uh, right here, uh, I I didn't divide it all, but um, but so when so in general, whenever the uh, whenever the uh, function has a, has a degree that's less than or equal to the, to the denominator. It, y equals zero is the uh, ob oblique asymptote. Whenever the function is equal to the um, the uh, uh, d uh, when, when, whenever the uh, the function is uh, equal to the denominator, uh, you're going to have an, uh, a horizontal asymptote. Although it's not going to be at y equals zero, it's going to be at y equals some other number. Um, like here is y equals one. By the way, if if I um, compute uh, compute uh, this. Um, one over one is one. Okay, I can I can very easily see that. Now, of course, I'm still going to want to see the work. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'm still going to want the work there shown for how you get the asymptote. And whenever the degree uh, the degree of the top is one more than the degree of the bottom, uh, y equals mx plus b would be the uh, equation that you take. Now, you, now we we do have situations where the degree of the top is uh, more than one compared to the degree of the, of the bottom, but you, you won't have to worry about that, okay? The, the, there is an asymptote, um, it's not a line, okay? Um, uh, but uh, there, there is an asymptote on the graph. Okay, so now I want to know if I, if I cross the asymptote, x squared plus two divided by x minus one equals x plus one. Okay, if I multiply the uh, top and bottom by x minus one, uh, I get negative 1. Uh, 2 equal negative 1. Now, x is eliminated completely, so there's going to be no time at which the graph is going to cross the asymptote. That's good. Um, step 5, it says that uh, the x-intercepts, x squared plus 2 divided by x minus 1 equals 0, means that x squared equals negative 2. Uh, when, when I square any number, I know I get a a non-negative result, so there's going to be no x-intercept. Okay, to find the y-intercept, uh, f of 0 is equal to negative 2. Uh, 0, negative 2. Okay, so it, so the only intercept I know is a 0, negative 2. And, uh, and, and I, I got these two asymptotes on the graph. Okay, one at x equals 1, one at y equals x plus 1. Okay, so uh, the y-intercept is uh, is 1, and the slope is 1. Okay, so if I start at 1, 1, and I go up 1 to the left one, uh, to the right one, up 1 to the right one, uh, or down 1 to the left one, okay, uh, I can gather up this, uh, this uh, line here, and this actually wouldn't be a line, it'd actually be a, a, a dotted line, uh, since, it's, since it's an asymptote, uh, but uh, uh, I only know one point on the graph, okay, and so uh, to uh, to 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 get this um, more detailed, I guess uh, if I if I let x be uh, negative one, just to see how far up I go. Uh, if x is negative one, negative one squared is one plus two is three divided by negative two. Okay, so y y equals negative three halves. Uh, negative one, negative three halves. If that's not the highest point 
in the lower region, it's near, very near the highest point, okay? Like, like a, a, you know, uh, so the graph has to flow with these two boundaries, okay? And, uh, and uh, look the way it does. Um, now, uh, it, I need a number that's uh, greater than one. Uh, so let me take two numbers here. Uh, if well, if uh, x is uh, two, two squared is four plus two is six divided by one is six. Okay, now that one point tells me that the rest of the graph is going to be above the uh, oblique asymptote. Okay, I, like I don't have anything in the in this lower region here. Um, uh, although I don't know if the graph is going to come down and like you know come down further or, or, or whatever. Um, so it's a good idea to maybe select a, another another value just to have another point there. Uh, if x is three, three squared is nine plus two is eleven divided by two is uh, eleven halves. Okay, eleven halves is the same as five and a half. Okay, so uh, so so that would be another point on the graph. And the graph, you know, um, uh, uh, goes uh, goes something like this here for the, for the rest of the curve. Okay, uh, so, uh, oops, problem seven um, says that uh, f of x equals x squared minus four divided by x minus two. Okay, um, the domain of f is set of all x such that x is not equal to zero, uh, not equal to two. Okay, since two would be a, a problem there. Um, and now x minus two cancels out. You see, the numerator is, is not uh, in complete factored form, and so when I factor the numerator, I end up canceling x minus 2. So I end up getting x plus 2. Now, y equal x plus 2 and y equal x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 2 are two different functions. Two different functions. Okay? However, if I'm not using 2, these are the exact same. Okay, two is the one number that messes this up because um, two it can, cannot be plugged into the original function. Okay, so uh, because I'm graphing uh, what, what would be you know something that looks like a line, y equals x plus two. Uh, there's not going to be any asymptotes on the graph. There's not going to be any points where I intersect the asymptotes. Okay, so I'm on step five. Um, the x-intercepts, uh, I let uh, the function be 0, and uh, uh, x squared equals 4 means that x is equal to 2 and x equals neg negative 2. Well, x equals 2 needs to be thrown away, okay, and uh, f of 0 is 2. So I've, I've got two intercepts, one at negative 2, 0, and one at 0, 2. And uh, I can go ahead and draw in part of this, what would be a line, although x is not equal to 2. So if I do plug in 2, I get 4. And I want to make sure that there's an open circle at 4. Okay? Now, an open circle means that the point is not on the graph, of course. Okay, so what this comes down to being is, is a line with an open circle on it. Um, and uh, 2, 4 is not on the graph. Okay, problem eight, find a rational function that might have the graph given below. Um, well, the first thing that we want to do is we want to um, uh, notice that the, uh, the graph is, um, is, uh, has two vertical asymptotes, it looks like, one at negative two and one at two. So x squared minus four would be the only way to get those two vertical asymptotes. Um, looks like I have a, a a, a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. So because this is not occurring at y equals 0, I would know that the, the, uh, um, the uh, degree is going to match the, the denominator. Okay, x squared is the degree. Um, and uh, x squared divided by x squared minus 4 would be the answer. Okay, now you want to keep it simple. Okay, you don't want to have like minus 1. Okay because uh, 0, 1 fourth is not on the graph. Okay, 0, 0 is on the graph. 
Okay, I wouldn't want like a three in front of x squared there uh, because uh, that wouldn't indicate that I've got a, uh, a, a horizontal asymptote at y equals three. I, I don't have that. Um, y equals one is a horizontal asymptote. Okay, so the homework in this section is on page 230, that's uh, section 4.4, and section 4.5, the homework problems are on page 240. Okay.